Hello, fabulous Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2016, general focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, we have an active sky and we've got some very powerful and rare configurations taking place. And the fact that a lot of them are taking place kind of simultaneously does suggest a big month for all of us. And at least one, if not more, areas of life are set to have moments of honesty and moments of change, moments of recognizing what needs to change, where your power is and where it isn't, and a determination for circumstances to improve that leads to solid gains. For you in particular, we've got a couple of different areas highlighted for you now. The lunar activity, which tends to be very much more on the surface, and it's sort of whenever there's major lunar phenomenon taking place, it's like we pay attention a lot more because the moon is a symbol of our emotions. It's the tide of emotion. And so when something happens with the moon, like a new moon or a full moon, it's, it asks us to stand up and take notice. And so we have some important lunar phenomenon taking place. And yet at the same time, we've got these supremely harmonious and rare configurations happening right now that are also blessing you in big ways as well. So let's start with the fact that there is a new moon early in the month. And this new moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with friendship. Okay, so friends are getting involved in this in a big way. And what is interesting about this particular new moon is that it is forming a rare configuration called a mutable square, a grand mutable square. And essentially what that means is we've got lots of power players getting together in a rare and significant conversation. We've got this new moon happening. It's standing across the sky from Saturn. And on either side, we've got Jupiter and Neptune. So these aren't small, you know, easygoing planets, put it that way. All of these planets are big players. They're slow movers in the sky. And when these planets are lit in this way, it does mean that all of us in some way have to deal with some bigger issues in our lives. Now, Jupiter and Neptune both have to do with compassion. They have to do with faith and belief. And they have to do with believing and wanting to believe the best. And then we've got Saturn, which is all about, okay, this is the reality and this is the part that you're playing in any reality that you don't like. So we have this taking place with the anchor being the moon, the, the, this lunar activity. And of course, I think a lot of this energy is going to play out for you in terms of friendships. So you can expect some of your friends uh, to be acting in interesting ways, <laughs> particularly in the early part of the month. Um, and I would just advise you as I look at this, because we also have financial parts of the sky being lit up for you and in some amazing ways, but with this particular um, with this particular new moon, not as amazing as you might necessarily like. <laughs> so I would say make sure that friends and money definitely do not mix right about this time, past or present. Um, if any situation has been there in the past, if there's been any kind of money involved, it's a really good practice to think like, okay, if somebody needs money, don't lend it, give it, right? That's always a good practice because then money doesn't get in the way of friendship. And that becomes especially true with this particular time frame. You really do not want to get into any kind of investment scenario with any friend. That money will not return. That money will go. As much as you may want it to be different, that money will not come back to you. So, Try not to have any of those expectations. And even I would say, even if you think that you don't, um, if you can just ask your friend to hold off a little bit, it's not nearly as urgent as you and as they might think. What we also have happening uh, this month as we move towards the later part of the month. Now, where I think your finances are going to just take a wonderful boost forward is going to be with this supremely fortunate conversation taking place between Jupiter and Pluto. Now this is the third of three meetings and the final of these three meetings that's gonna happen in this particular type of conversation, this very lucky conversation for many years to come. And they're happening, these, this conversation is taking place 
with Jupiter in a place in the sky for you that is blessing you financially and bringing financial opportunity to you. If you play this moment right, which I think you will, and this is taking place late in the month, I do think an opportunity may very well present itself to you. And if you use it right, this literally could take your income to another level, like one income bracket to another. These two planets speaking in this way does suggest that there's a workplace opportunity for you that will allow you to generate a greater income for yourself and which in turn will allow you to feel like you are creating greater wealth for yourself as well. Finally, as we move towards uh, also in the second part of the month, we are going to have a full moon taking place right around the same time of this very lucky financial conversation. And this full moon is happening in a part of the sky view that took place last month as well. So a rare second full moon in the same part of the sky. Lots of windfall lucky energy with this particular full moon, especially consider Uranus is getting involved. So definitely a time to buy that lottery ticket, but also definitely a time to trust your instincts, to trust where it is that the universe and your instincts are telling you to take action, to leap, to jump, because that is going to be exactly where you end up experiencing a great turn of events. So when I say that really things could go from zero to a hundred in terms of the money that you're making, it is absolutely the case. There is a tremendous amount of power available to you. And there is an affirmation that is setting the stage to take place. And that is that you deserve to see yourself with more abundant eyes. You get to understand that what you are giving is something that is being acknowledged, that is being recognized and is being seen as a valuable contribution. And it won't just be words, but the universe will affirm that through tangible progress.